question um, from Michael B. He wants to know, Richard, do you think Kyrie would have learned the world was round <laughs> had he gone to Arizona? <laughs> I knew somehow. Lead it to this I guy knew somehow himself. that question. Shout know, out to Fresh Fruit Teas yeah, right there. I, I knew somehow that question was going to make it. A again, I think people have lost kind of what uh, <laughs> Kyrie's whole whole thing is. Kyrie's whole thing was more of just to open your mind. Don't just take in information that's fed to you. Come up, create your own thoughts, create your own ideas. Uh, free thinkers, open-minded people are typically. Uh, the people that make the biggest change in the world. And I, and I think for him, he just wanted to, mm -hmm. he wanted to put that out there. Don't just take in the information that, that you were told. Like part of that thing that we talked about was like Columbus discovered America. No, Columbus did not discover America. There were millions of people here before but Columbus got here. I learned that in fourth grade. I understand that, but that's part of it. It's like, don't just take what's being told to you and just play, well, that's the way it is. Because it's like, yo, Columbus never set foot on continental United States, and there were millions of people here. And then if you want to get sp specific, it's like, well, Columbus, you know, discovered the Western world, and he, but he wasn't, he thought he was going to India. So it was like, that's why he called people, in. it was just like, there was so much confusion in that, but still somehow we celebrated from that sense. And so his whole point was open-minded thinking, and mm -hmm. I think that which was- Which is awesome. That, wh which, uh, again, I couldn't agree more. And you should come up with your own ideas, and you come up with your own thoughts, but yes, had he gone to Arizona, he would not have lost to Arizona in his final game against Derrick Williams. Uh, so, yeah, that probably would have helped him out a little bit. I think, too, um, a lot of this conversation obviously comes on the podcast yeah. that, that we do. Um, just the opportunity to see that side of, for instance, Kyrie. Yeah. You know, how rich is that for, for fans who only know him and think of him or you guys in general? as guys that just play basketball. Well, I, I think the funny thing about it is, like, you see a guy like Channing, who mm -hmm. is, you know, one of the best shooters on the planet, mm -hmm. you know, one of the best shooting big men of There's all time. There's the love for Channing. I'm going to get there. Okay. And so when he starts shooting poorly, he starts to get really frustrated, and he stress eats. And it's like, <laughs> he started, he becomes, he, yeah, seriously, like, he'll go and, like, go to Taco Bell and, like, cry and eat tacos <laughs> and just double, why can't I hit a shot? And that's what's so funny because <laughs> don't act you like you've never been there. Oh, I've done. I done. I think I did it like three days ago. But that's part. <laughs> but that's part of it is, you know, unfortunately, we are so trained in our media and, and within the media to just mm -hmm. give answers about your team, to give answers about what's going on. Um, and then even when you're doing interviews about you to find out more personal stuff about you, mm -hmm. it's still very scripted. It's all based on the questions that um, whatever writer, you know, ask you and then you give, you know, 30 second questions. With this, you get an unfiltered thing where we can just talk and just crack jokes and just tell stories. And even when we had that terrible month in January, like Kyrie was one of those guys who was like, can we talk about our month? Can we talk about how, how annoyed our entire, how grumpy our entire group was all month? And that's not something that you typically talk about because you don't want to come across as weak. You don't want to come across as their, their stress. But it is something that's fun to kind of joke about and like, you know, have fun with as a group because it's really just us talking. Because at the end of the day, you guys are humans. And that's <laughs>